SpaceX, the space company of billionaire Elon Musk, has announced Starlink RV, a service for residential autovans. It claims there is currently no queue to order kits for the satellite internet service. Everything will be shipped shortly after the order is placed, the site says. Meanwhile, given the expected order rollout, SpaceX can't guarantee quick delivery. Starlink for motorhomes will be available wherever the company provides service, and it's suitable for camping and other activities in rural or remote areas. Subscribers will have to pay $599 for the terminal and $135 a month for the internet connection. Starlink RV service includes the ability to suspend and resume service at any time convenient to the user. For now, customers will be able to count on download speeds of 5 megabits per second to 100 megabits per second, the usual Starlink service gives 50 to 250 megabits per second. The connection, however, will not be available while the van is moving, the company cautioned and added that SpaceX works on making this a part of the service. Customers are encouraged to test the Starlink RV for 30 days. If the quality is not satisfactory, SpaceX promises a refund for the equipment. Elon Musk's SpaceX company Starlink satellite internet service has reached an important milestone in its development, to date, it has more than 400,000 subscribers in dozens of countries around the world. Official data show that Starlink is increasing its user base at a rapid speed. Two months ago Starlink claimed 250,000 subscribers, while at the beginning of the year the company's satellite internet user base totaled some 145,000 customers including retail consumers and businesses. According to available data, on May 19 satellite internet Starlink is available in 48 states of the United States, as well as in 36 countries. Next year, the company plans to expand coverage to most of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. The Starlink availability map on the company's website shows only a few countries where the service is not expected to appear soon. These include Afghanistan, Belarus, Cuba, China, Iran, North Korea, Russia, Syria, and Venezuela. Moreover, recent reports also say that the Chinese military wants to develop a weapon that can destroy thousands of Starlink satellites. The group that will be involved in this effort includes several of Beijing's top defense industry scientists. The Chinese government's concerns were raised by SpaceX's contract with the U.S. Department of Defense. It is about the use of Starlink for military purposes, including the development of sensitive instruments capable of detecting and tracking hypersonic weapons. In the next decade, SpaceX plans to launch up to 30,000 satellites equipped with ion engines. This will allow them to change orbits quickly and turn into low Earth ramming projectiles. In response, China has announced plans to develop capabilities to monitor and, if necessary, destroy each Starlink satellite in orbit, 